Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make an animation or a GIF file or GIF or whatever you want to call it in Photoshop. Now this works in Photoshop CS3 and CS4 I know for sure. I'm not very sure about CS3 so we'll open up Photoshop or I'm not very sure about CS2. I know it works in CS3. So we'll open up Photoshop. Okay, and once it's open, we'll open up a new, uh, well, you see, this is the, um, uh, add-on. It's not even an add-on. It's just a little toolbar that you're going to use, and you can get that by going to view. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then, actually, I think it's, win yep, windows, and click animation. So, once that, it, once that, and then open up down here. Go to File, New. I'm just create a real stew. 480 by 360. And OK. And then have this square. So we'll what we can do is we'll do um. We'll do a color fill. Okay, so we got the paint bucket. So we can just do, we'll spill it in black. And then we'll create a new layer. So now you see this frame is black, right? So then we click this button, create a new layer. And you'll see it makes a second one. So we can take the second one, we'll switch this around and change it to white. So now, oh, whoops. Actually, you have to go like this way. One second, let me fix it. Okay, so you have to create the both the ones that you want. Let's say you want to change from black to white. So you'll have the one frame here, and you see this little, little eye next to the layer? If you click that eye, it makes that layer disappear. So now it turns black because you see the layer underneath. So then you'll click new layer and you'll click where the box is and the eye should reappear. It's nice that you have two boxes, one black and one white. And if you click this play button, see how it changes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's actually going to go way faster. It's just I have my screen recorder on. But let's say you want it to fade. So you'll stop it, click on the second one, and then you're going to click, you'll see these circles. Click the circle. And we'll say we'll make it 20. And then, okay. And now you see it gives you all these different little squares. So if you click play, you'll see it's starting to get lighter, 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 lighter. And then it starts to turn back into white. Now let's say you don't want it to start over again. So you can just stop it. Oops, stop. So then you'll go to white, and let's say, see where it says zero seconds, you can say, I want it to wait one second before it changes. So we'll play again. Go through, and then it's not going to switch back right away. It waits a second, and then it goes back over. So that's just a very simple way you can do it. You can also do it by, um, you can drag a picture like over here. And then uh, create a new frame, drag the picture onto the screen, and then click uh, this tween, add like 20 frames, and it'll drag it from here all the way down. That's how I make all my banners on my uh, website. So, thank you for watching my video. Please go to my website, elmark Uh Remember, if you, wanna, uh, if you want to suggest a video or you want a tutorial, just go to my website, elmark Go to contact me and leave your email and tell me uh, your video that you want me to make. Thank you for watching and see you later.